We're talking to Roy Wood, junior comedian. He's on The uh, Daily Show. Once again, I'm very proud, man. You're, you're having a good time over there. How much fun are you having, and how has this uh, this show changed your life? Uh, it's been a blast, man. It's been it's been fun. Uh, it's been a bit of a whirlwind because we came in right in the election. You know, I ain't going to get into all the politics, but I'll say this much. I've been sent to some interesting places in this country where people have varying opinions about politics. Uh, give us one of those places that you've gone to, one of the more memorable places that you've gone to. Uh, well, outside of the actual convention itself, uh, I went up to New Hampshire for the New Hampshire primaries. I did a ride along with this 80 year old couple. They've been married like 50 something years or whatever. They go to all of the primary speeches. They, even though they know who they're voting for, they go to all of the primaries. The only thing I can compare it to is some sort of like political Coachella or something. <laughs> <laughs> where they go see all the speeches, and they had it all laid out on a map. And yeah, we're going to go see Ben Carson at 2.30, then we're going to go see Chris Christie, and then I, I think Rand Paul has a brunch that we're going to go to. I'm like, y'all need to sit down somewhere. Just go somewhere and be old. <laughs> <laughs> they are enjoying life. Mike Hill filling in for yeah, uh, Rich great. Eisen, talking to Roy Wood Jr., comedian correspondent on The uh, Daily Show. How has this presidential election overall uh, made your job easier because you know some characters out there. Some characters is one character. <laughs> I didn't want to bring uh, one you, person. You up. know the thing about it, man, is that part of me just wants to believe that behind closed doors, Trump is just chilling and just going, "I, right, what can I say next? <laughs> <laughs> What's the next? Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll go in front of a room full of white people and talk about the African American vote. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm going to do that tomorrow. Um, say what you want about him, but it's definitely going to be a bunch of people showing up to vote against him and vote for him. So if nothing else, voter apathy will be down. Yeah, must see TV. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.